Hello, welcome to Dale Farm. It's an exciting day. We may have just bought some sheep. Ah! Hi, so it's the end of September and one of the things I've been asked recently off the back of the lamb sale videos was are you going to keep some ewe lambs for replacements or are you going to buy in some new sheep? What are you going to do? And the last two years we haven't bought in any ewes. We've just kept about five of our own lambs for replacements. Um, so really we're going to have to have a bit of a, a restock. So we are on the lookout for in the region of 20 to 30 new ewes. And so we're going to go down to Bakewell. There's a sale. So we'll see how we will get on. We got down to the market in fairly good time. The sale started at 10.30 and so we just needed time to have a look round all the pens and see what we might be interested in and then also watch the selling and try and gauge an idea as to maybe what the market was going to be like and what we should be expecting to pay. So it was it was quite exciting. Time went really fast um, and we had a number of lots that we'd kind of circled and we just had to kind of wait to see um, for those pens to come up and have a go at bidding on some and then also watching some in the ring being sold and putting a few bids in. I went down to the market with a good idea of what I was looking for. I was looking for mules and I wasn't looking for shearlings. So I was on the lookout for ewes that had already had lambs previously. Um, one or two years of lambing would be fine for me. Um, Dad had suggested that this was a good idea when he was around just because the first timers can be a little bit more difficult and a bit more work. Um, so. There was plenty to choose from and they were all going to be sold at the end of the sale. So we did have to wait all day, but it was worth it because we got some. It's an exciting day. We've bought some sheep. <laughs> uh, so it's at the afternoon now. Um, we've been down at the market this morning. Um, it's been a sort of tense, exciting morning. Um, and we had to wait quite far into the sale to buy anything. Bid on all sorts. Um, and the bidding sort of kept dipping out. I kept dipping out at about £180 per ewe. Just felt like maybe that was the highest highest price, although, you know, they were good quality. Um, so we ended up getting um, 33 new sheep. And so we're just taking them back to the farm. This is the first group. We've got two two lots to collect because we've only got a small trailer. So they're just gonna wait in the shed. Come on. They don't want to come out. So we've just brought them all home and feeling really pleased with how they look, aren't you, Nick? Yeah. Spent the whole day looking at sheep and uh, yeah, now that we've done what we needed to do, we're really pleased. So we're going to have a cup of tea and then we're going to worm them. Having our Dale Farm red dot and they're also having a shot of Zolvix and they're just going to stay in overnight before we put them out. It's just like a bit of a quarantine attempt. And um, so just a few left to do. And it also happens to be a really busy weekend on the campsite as well, because look at that beautiful 
weather. So they're all done and they're bedded down now. Some nice fresh straw filled up the racks and they can spread out into this section as well. But yes, it's been a great day and I'm feeling really good about um, how it went and the ewes that we've got. Hope that they will be really good for us here and that we'll enjoy having them. And uh, yeah, another, another thing, another challenge conquered. It's a gorgeous, lovely end of September morning. Days are definitely getting shorter now, but uh, when it's like this, you just gotta feel really thankful. These ewes can now go out, but I'm going to keep them separate from the ewes that we already have here. So two separate groups and they can just settle in now in their own field. And I will just have to keep an eye on them for any sort of problems that may crop up. Um, you never really know, I guess, what you're going to be bringing onto the farm. Unfortunately, one of the ewes did knock her leg when she arrived in the unloading process. So she's limping, which is a great start to proceedings. So we've got a couple of weeks left until we sell our lambs and we've decided just to uh, feed up some of the thinner ones to see if we can even them out. So there's a bit of activity around the creep feeder and this morning I'm just going around making sure that every field has got access to salt. What do you think of it all Chase? Chase is helping. And the new ewes are having a look, we're going to go and give them salt next aren't we? Yeah. But yeah, overall the lambs, yeah, they're not quite, you know, not quite 100% equal. Um, so we'll probably sell them in two, two groups again, um, and just split them up by size. And then there'll be one or two stragglers like that one that we won't sell at all. We'll keep back for our own use. Yeah, since they've been wormed um, and had the tails tidied up, they're looking quite good, really, on the whole. It's Sunday today, the 8th of October, and um, it's a bit of a misty start, but we've had some really nice uh, sunshine the past couple of days. So I think the sun is breaking out now. Um, so we've just been doing our rounds, laying a couple of mole traps because... The moles are becoming a bit more active and some areas making a bit of a mess so we're just going to try and keep on top of that job um, and then we're just making a bit of a plan for what we're going to be doing with the ewes this week as um, the time is now approaching um, tupping season again in about a month for us a month's time so we've got a bit of time to prepare for that um, and that is the end of the video this week so just a short one just really wanted to show um, the new ewes they're behind me now they're all nicely settled in and um, we will bring you another update next week so thank you for watching and see you next time bye